Stretching before bed has been proven to be the best possible time of day to improve your flexibility and it improves the quality of your sleep too. So if better sleep and better flexibility are two things that you'd like a little more of in your life, in this video I'm going to show you four of the most powerful stretches to do before bed that will have you sleeping like a bendy baby. Just before we jump into number one, I want to give you a quick stretching tip that will help you get much better results. These stretches are ones that I love to do on my bed before crawling under the covers. And the reason for that is soft, squishy surfaces actually help us stretch further than hard, unforgiving ones. When our muscles or joints press up against something hard like a wooden floor, it gives more sensory feedback. Our nervous system gets heightened by that discomfort and ultimately, this responsiveness is what determines how far we can stretch. So you can dial this responsiveness back a little and therefore stretch further by stretching on a lovely soft surface such as a mattress. So let's dive into the stretches. Number one is absolutely perfect for this setup as one of the biggest complaints that I hear from people trying this stretch is how uncomfortable it can be on the knees, especially for those who don't have a great deal of flexibility yet. It's called frog pose. And for this one, you want to step your knees away from one another as wide as you possibly can. Think about forming lots of 90 degree angles. 90 degrees at the ankles with the feet pointing sideways, 90 degrees at the knees and 90 degrees at the hips. Everyone will be a little different with their upper body depending on the width of your knees, but potentially you could come down onto your forearms or maybe lower your chest even further and create a little pillow for yourself with your arms. Think of gently pressing your hips downward and experiment with tilting your tailbone towards the sky to find your stretching sweet spot. Stay for anywhere between say one and three minutes, breathe calmly and maybe see if you can slide the knees further away as time passes. Moving on to number two, a single sided stretch which is a great option for anyone wanting to improve their wide leg fold or pancake stretch. Whenever we're stretching the legs, we need to remember that doing anything on both legs at the same time is always going to be a lot harder than doing it on one leg at a time and then the other. So if you're working on improving your straddle or pancake position, taking a half straddle stretch is a great way to make progress by focusing on one leg at a time and therefore being able to get a little bit deeper into the stretch. The great thing about doing this one on your bed is you've already got pillows to hand to sit yourself up onto to make this one much more accessible and much more effective. Widen the legs into a big V shape before bending one leg in so the sole of your foot meets the inner of your thigh. Focus on keeping your lower back and your lower belly area as elongated as possible as you then fold directly forwards. And you can play around here. The more you stay directly forward, the more focus you're bringing to the inner thigh stretch. Or the more you walk over towards your extended leg, the more you'll shift that focus into the hamstring. Again, stay for one, two minutes, relaxing your face, softening your breathing, and then be sure to do the other leg too. Next up, stretch number three is going to feel so good after a long day of work and is probably one of my all time favorite stretches. Bring yourself to a tabletop position with hips on top of knees and from there walk the hands away as you drop the chest downward. Maybe you rest your forehead down or maybe bring in another pillow so that you can do that and really sink into it. Two of my favorite variations to explore here are firstly, turning my thumbs towards the sky. That little bit of additional external rotation in the shoulder really helps draw more length into the muscles in the side body like our lats. And second variation is taking it into a single sided stretch. But this time, instead of the arms going directly forwards, you send the arms across the body, turning your head in the same direction and allowing that rib cage to really press downward. Give yourself time to sink into these stretches. At least a minute would be preferable, taking nice big breaths deep into the sides of your body. And then last, but certainly not least, is the stretch I do pretty much every night before bed. It releases my lower back, it softens into the hips and has such a calming vibe to it, which makes it the perfect finale. This one is essentially a cross-legged seat, but with a subtle yet significant difference. From a simple cross-legged seat, just lift your bum up and move a smidgen backwards. A couple of centimeters is all you need, really. You could also try wiggling your feet away from one another, but this will make the stretch sensation more intense, so you can be your own judge as to whether or not you want that. From this slightly adjusted cross-leg position, simply let your weight fold a little forwards, allowing the spine to round over. 
This should give you a super releasing stretch into the outer hips as well as your lower back. And I would suggest that you close your eyes here, maybe try a soft sway with your torso, and every few breaths, just see if you can relax your hips a little bit more. If you've got big gaps underneath your legs, don't sweat it. You've got those pillows to hand that you can stick underneath to give you something to rest down upon. Do your best to get yourself as comfortable as possible so that you really feel that you can let go and relax into the stretch. But all of this is just one style and one method of stretching, and it might be great, but it's not the most effective if flexibility gains are your goal. So go and check out this video next to learn the four-step method, which is scientifically proven to be the fastest way of improving your flexibility.